Tick-borne encephalitis is a viral infectious disease involving the central nervous system. The disease most often manifests as meningitis, encephalitis, or meningoencephalitis. Although TB is most commonly recognized as a neurological disorder, mild fever can also occur. Long-lasting or permanent neuropsychiatric sequelae are observed in 10 to 20% of infected patients. The number of reported cases has been increasing in most countries. The tick-borne encephalitis virus is known to infect a range of hosts including ruminants, birds, rodents, carnivores, horses and humans. The disease can also be zoonotic, with ruminants and dogs providing the principal source of infection for humans. Presentation the virus can infect the brain, the meninges or both. In general, mortality is 1% to 2%, with deaths occurring 5 to 7 days after the onset of neurologic signs. In dogs, the disease also manifests as a neurological disorder with signs varying from tremors to seizures and death. In ruminants, neurological disease is also present, and animals may refuse to eat, appear lethargic, and also develop respiratory signs. Transmission. It is transmitted by the bite of several species of infected ticks, including Ixodes scapularis, Ixodes ricinus, and Ixodes pisulcatus, or through the non pasteurized milk of infected cows. Etiology TB is caused by tick borne encephalitis virus, a member of the genus Flavivirus in the family Flaviviridae. It was first isolated in 1937. Three virus subtypes are described. European or Western tick-borne encephalitis virus, Siberian tick-borne encephalitis virus, and Far Eastern tick-borne encephalitis virus. Russia and Europe report about 5,000 to 7,000 human cases annually. The former Soviet Union conducted research on tick-borne diseases, including the TBE viruses. Diagnosis The TBE virus may be present in a seronegative strain or subtype. In such cases a marker for TBE infection is elevated IFNG and CSF. Viral antigen can usually be found in brain tissue. Serological testing can also be performed with an ELISA, treatment and prevention. The disease is incurable once manifested, so there is no specific drug therapy for TBE. Symptomatic brain damage requires hospitalization and supportive care based on syndrome severity. Anti-inflammatory drugs, such as corticosteroids, may be considered under specific circumstances for symptomatic relief. Tracheal intubation and respiratory support may be necessary. Prevention includes nonspecific and specific prophylaxis in the form of a vaccine. TB immunoglobulin is no longer used. Tick-borne encephalitis vaccine is very effective and available in many disease endemic areas and in travel clinics. References External links, The Encephalitis Society, Tickborne Encephalitis at Centers for Disease Control and Prevention.